Hello everyone. In the last session, we have seen the two modes, NAT mode and NAT networking mode. We also have seen how to assign different IPs to the machines which are created in virtual box using NAT network mode. In this session, we would go through the bridge mode. So in bridge mode, the VMs which are created in virtual box will be connected to the host network interface. So when I say uh, they will be directly connected, actually they will not be directly connected. Virtual box uses a net filter driver. So that driver, what it does, it is a device driver which filters the traffic from the host NIC and virtual box will uh, use that filtered data and it will create a software in, uh, interface inside it and these VMs will use that interface. So since uh, they will use the traffic from the host NIC, it appeared to be these machines are directly connected to the host NIC. That means uh, the VMs and the host machine will send or receive the traffic via this host NIC. So since these machines are connected to the host NIC, these will get the IP addresses in the same subnet as the host machine. So that means these VMs can reach the host machine. The host machine can reach the VMs directly without any port forwarding concept. And also the machines in the LAN of the host machine, they also direct, can directly connect to the VMs. So this is the outcome of this network. So the connectivity between the VMs and the host is possible without any port forwarding concept. And also uh, the machines in the LAN of the host, they also can connect to the VMs without any port forwarding. And these VMs uh, can access the internet as well. So let us uh, see this concept using hands-on. So here I have created two Ubuntu machines with default configurations. So with the default networking mode, we can verify that. Just click on settings, click on network, and by default, the network adapter is NAT. Same way, the second machine also using the NAT mode. So let me uh, close this. Let me restart the machines. Now I have logged into the machines. So let me open uh, the terminal and check the IP address of the machine. So since it is using the NAT mode, by default, we'll get 10.0.2.15. The same way, we'll check the IP address in the second machine. So this also has the same address. So by default, uh, these are using NAT mode. So the IP address will be like 10.0.2.15. So let us change this networking mode to bridge, bridge mode. Go to virtual box, right click on it and click on settings. Click on network and the, in the adapter, we have to select the bridge adapter. So use the default options and click OK. And also in the second machines, uh, do the same settings like click on network and change the adapter to bridge adapter. Now after this actually we need to restart the machines. So let us let us do restart. The machines are restarted now. So let me open the terminal again. Let me check the IP address. So now the IP address will be this is in the same subnet as my host. Okay, so let me check in the second machine. So this also got the IP address from the subnet of the host. So let us verify. So this is 192.168.0.100, and this is in the second machine 192.168.0.102. Let us verify the IP address in the host machine as well using IP config. So here if you see the IP address is like 192.168.0.104. Now we have three machines in this 192.168.0 subnet, one host and two guest VMs. Now let us verify the communication between both the VMs. So uh, this is 100, 
192.168.0.100 and the second machine IP is 192.168.0.102 192.168.0.102 now the first machine is able to connect to the second machine so the guest vm is able to connect to the another guest vm so let us also verify the connection from the second guest vm to the first one in 192.168.0.100 yeah this also able to reach the first machine let us verify the communication from the host machine to the guest machine This is the uh, v. This is the IP address of the guest VM one. Okay. Now it is able to reach the guest machine. Let us also verify the communication to the second machine. Okay. So the host is able to reach both the guest VMs or so now uh, two scenarios working like guest both guest VMs are able to reach each other and host is able to reach the guest VMs. Let us verify the connectivity from the guest machines to the host machine. Okay, so this is not able to reach uh, the host machine and also let us verify this connection in the second guest machine. So this is also not able to reach the host machine. Okay. There may be some prob problem with firewall. Uh, let us verify the firewall settings in the host machine, whether it is allowing connection from other machines. So, so in my machine, uh, McAfee firewall is uh, running. So let me turn off this firewall uh, temporarily for verification. So I have uh, turned off the firewall and let me verify the connectivity now. Yeah, now it is already able to reach it, right? So that was the firewall problem in the host machine. Let me verify the connectivity in the second machine as well. Yeah, this also able to reach the host machine. So because of firewall, these virtual machines are not able to connect. So now, uh, so this is how uh, bridge networking works. So what we have seen in this uh, in this session, these VMs got the same IP addresses in the subnet of the host machine and these VMs are able to reach each other and these VMs can communicate with the host machine and host machine also can communicate with the VMs. I don't have any other machine in my LAN as of now so I cannot test this but this this will also be possible because uh, these machines are using the host NAC. So without any port forwarding concept the communication between the VMs is possible in this bridge networking. So, so whenever we have a requirement like uh, host and guest VMs need to communicate with each other without any port forwarding concept then we can go with this bridge mode. So this is all about bridge mode. So in the next session we will go through the internal network and host only network with hands on. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like the video please like and subscribe.